Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Mining from Power Rangers for the Game Boy. It has been nine days since the recording of the first video at the time of this recording. And in the first video, we played as Trini, we kicked some putty butt in the city, and I believe we faced Squat as the Megazord. Now I'm going to be playing as Billy for stage two. I will be playing as every ranger at least once. So there is a thing that I forgot to mention in the last video. Believe it or not, if you press press uh, select, the word power will flash, and you can attack with your weapon. With Trini, the yellow ranger, it is the power daggers. With Billy, the blue ranger, it's the power lance. With Jason, the Red Ranger, is the Power Sword. With Kimberly, the Pink Ranger, is the Power Bow, meaning you can shoot arrows. And with Zack, the Black Ranger, is the Power Axe. There's just one problem with it, though. You lose health when you successfully strike an enemy. So, I'm sticking to my fists. And the enemy enemies here, which are all going to be putties, they will show off some new tricks. Like that. If you see... A putty stop and jump into the air and stomp. Be ready to stay away because rocks will drop down. Yeah, you want to move to the left if that happens. Also, some of them will come out from underground like this guy did. Back away when you see the ground moving like that. Some of them also throw bombs too, which can be really, really annoying. Also, if we go over here, we can avoid some stuff. We can probably get a few power-ups or, or two. And you may be able to avoid some enemies staying on the top route. So, yeah. When in doubt, take the top route. You may save yourself. And now it is time to beat up some putties. Make some real headway as we go through here as much as we can. Try not to get hit by any falling rocks created by putties. One of them is gonna... Okay. I thought it was gonna have to deal with rocks. That guy caught me out, though. Yeah, the guys with the bombs on the lower level, they will hit you from below with the bombs. They will hit you from... Yeah, those really are bombs. They're the usual stick bomb, variety bombs. Thankfully, you can de defeat the bombs with your attacks. Not sure how that works, but video games. Why even eh, question the logic at this point? And that guy's bomb did not even hit me. And I had the feeling that was going to happen, but... Well, we're at the end anyway. By the way, you can do this whole select button thing too with the Megazord. Where if you're playing as a Megazord in the boss battles, you can shoot a projectile out of your sword when the word power is flashing on the lower left. That too also uses health whenever you use the attack. So you do want to be careful. So I'm going to drink some Coke Zero here as I wait for the Megazord. And it's time to face King Sphinx. You have a little bit of a mini earthquake going on here. You do not want those little waves of energy on the ground to hit you. You can attack them. And here, once we have enough of King Sphinx's energy down, he will go from one side of this screen to the other. Ow. Do not want to get hit a whole bunch. Ow. Come on, hit him. Really, game? We're going to do that. I have to start the whole level. Oh, I don't. 
I just start back at the King Sphinx battle. Okay. And now that he's got his hands up like that, I need to stay away from him. Hit him. Will he do the thing again? Yes, he will do the thing again. Let's be a little more mindful of what we're doing here. Honestly thought I got a double knockout there, but nope. He hit he got the final blow on me before I could get the final blow on him. Now let's use jump kicks. And as you can see that makes a big powerful difference. Of course, I lost all my score, but well, what can you do? At least continues are infinite as far as I know. So anyway, it's time for the bonus stage. Let us duck down after moving a little bit to the right, and we will just keep striking. As long as we keep doing this in the position where we are standing, we will hit all the rocks. Or so I thought. Well, it looks like I'm only going to get 28 out of 30. I tried, though. But yeah, for a minute there, I thought I was going to have to do the whole level over. But nope. If I make it to the boss, I start back at the boss. At least the game is... It's, it's, it's pretty nice in that regard. Trying to think of the, what word I was trying to, trying to say there. Forgiving, that's the word. It's a little forgiving in that point. So anyway... Next up is level three, and I am going to be playing as Jason, but that will have to wait until the next video. So join me next time for level three of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for Game Boy. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!